Hello, and welcome to this special B News Entertainment Buzz. Friday, March 26, marked the premiere of The Apple Tree, Burlington High School's first ever virtual play. In a time of COVID, live theater is a difficult thing to both perform and view. This student-run production was the first of its kind, offering audiences a theatrical experience from the safety and comfort of their home. A few days before opening night, I spoke to BHS senior and director Madeline Goulds on the production of The Apple Tree. Here is our discussion. I know this is your senior project. Where did you get the idea to do a virtual play for your senior project? Well, technically the play came before the senior project. Um, oh, okay. So it actually inspired some stuff for my senior project going forward. Okay. I was in drama class with Mr. Hale and a few other people who I've been doing theater with for the last four years. And we were all just really uh, upset that we weren't gonna get any form of theater this year. And we had been talking about other forms of theater that have been happening this year, virtual plays, um, outdoor plays. And we thought, okay, well, is there anything that we can do? So there were actually two other people who were considering doing what I did. Uh, they came up with two other shows and they both decided to actually audition for the show instead. So you'll, if you watch the show, you'll see them as their individual characters, Doug Edwards and Rashad Mesnawi. Um, but it, it was like a whole group conversation trying to figure out how can we do this safely because so many people wanted to have theater and it just felt inaccept unacceptable that we weren't gonna have access to it. Mm -hmm. uh, now tell me about the apple tree and what's that about and what do you like about that play? So I picked it uh, back in October when we first had the initial conversation of the possibility of doing this mm -hmm. because, well, one, it was a one act play. So it was shorter. It was easier to manage than doing an entire show uh, because we knew that there would be multiple variables to consider that we would have never had to deal with because we've never done something virtually, mm -hmm. but also because there are so many themes in the show that you can, that you could work with. There was, concepts of like social pressures. There was the Romeo and Juliet side of the, the characterization. And I don't know, I just, I related a lot to the characters once I dissected the show. Mm -hmm. um, and it took me about a month to like really get into it. I was looking at a few other shows at the time, but it came down to the apple tree because I felt like there were so many things that I could do with it. Um, and I guess that's the reason why. Cool. And obviously rehearsals were a little were you able to rehearse in person or was it all virtual? Everything that we did was virtual. The only thing that was in person, I brought props to people's houses, but um, we did like a socially distance exchange. That's the only thing that happened in person at all. Um, and I'm fully remote. I'm a fully remote student. So I think I've only been into the school a handful of times this year, um, which sucks as a senior. Like obviously I would have liked to be surrounded by other students, but it definitely influenced my decision to make everything be fully remote. Uh, rehearsals and auditions were remote. And we had rehearsals every week, Mondays and Tuesdays, for about like four hours, roughly, um, like averaging. And we worked with everybody. Rehearsals started in January, and we finished re recording everything the first week in March. So we just recently finished everything. Uh, the cast is resting up because we've been working so hard. Awesome. And just how, overall, like, what was the production like? I, I'm sure this was a whole new experience for you. Uh, there were lots of technical difficulties, for sure. Um, <laughs> there were a few instances where we had to, like, work around technical difficulties. Our recording, we had to figure out how we were even going to get this recorded for people. If we were going to do, like, a live like viewing of it, like on a Google Meet. Um, we had to like think of a lot of alternatives in case plan A failed or plan B failed because everything was very um, touch and go. Like you, you had to plan for everything because you weren't gonna be certain it was gonna work. We ended up deciding to have one of the cast members record it on their computers because they were the only character in every single scene. So that way we didn't have me recording in the show so you didn't see me on the recordings um, or Mr. Hill or Mr. Middleton. So it worked out really well that way. 
So that's something that we had to decide kind of last minute because we had spent so much time working on the show itself, the acting, the characters, mm -hmm. the story, that we also needed to work on how we were getting it out there and how we were gonna get this recorded. And that was something that was unexpected, unexpectedly more difficult than we had assumed because we were already expecting it to be hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Now, just talk about like the kind of support you had. I know your classmates were your cast and you had Mr. Hill. Um, just talk about the support you got during this process. It was incredible. Initially, it wasn't going to be student run. Like it was going to be um, just like a class thing because I took, I took drama first semester and it was just a conversation that we had like as a class because we've all known each other for four years. It was a smaller class uh, size too. And the more work that I had put into it, the more Mr. Hill like acknowledged how hard I was working. Um, and he, he let me student direct it because I've had experience directing. Um, and I would have thought that I would have just been handed the reins and not have any help, but he was there every step of the way helping me. Um, in rehearsals, it was very much like a learning process because I've, I'm primarily a stage manager. Like that is where I'm most comfortable. So being in charge of all these people that like, is, it's just completely new for me and so he left on paternity leave and that I was even more grateful to him because of that because I knew that that was going to be something that he was juggling as well as adding this show on so his having his support was extremely helpful and I'm very appreciative of that um, I also had a lot of support from the cast members too like you said before it was uh, I, it was a cast of my peers a cast of students and uh, I had two friends that were very, very helpful to me that like read through the script with me, helped me like pick out like certain things because we essentially added extra scenes or uh, rewrote certain parts because the show was written in 1917. So <laughs> we wanted to like rewrite it so it could be a little bit easier to understand. Um, so having the support of my peers, as well as Mr. Hill and Mr. Middleton as well, Mr. Middleton has been a huge help the last uh, month or so, working with publicity, reaching out to people, um, just having everybody's support has been incredible. Are you looking to continue studying theater after high school? Yes, I, uh, um, so I'm stage managing Into the Woods. I don't know if you've heard that that's what Burlington High School is gonna be doing as an outdoor show. I had heard. It was, I heard there was an outdoor play. I did not know it was going to be Into the Woods. So now my hype went from seven to 11. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just confirmed last week. So it's still up, uh, it's pretty fresh. But um, I'm the stage manager. So I'll be working on that show for the next three months. And then in May, I start working with my theater company that I have been doing for the last three years. So it's just nonstop theater until maybe August when I go off to college. I am not specifically studying theater in college, but I do plan on getting as involved as I, I as possible uh, when I do go away to school. Awesome, and I'm sure we'll be talking in a few weeks about Into the Woods. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and last question, I, the play is now, it's, it's ready to premiere. It's gonna premiere on BCAT on Friday night. Um, just how are you feeling right now? It's, it's, you know, it's the end game. I'm relieved for sure. Um, it's been a lot of hard work this last month, although like we finished filming the, la the last week in February, first week in March, there was a lot of stuff to do tech wise with sound effects, with music, editing it all together. So there's been a lot of uh, long nights working with the crew to get it all done. So we're even in crunch time now, we are working on it today, like trying to make sure everything's 100% finalized. So. Once it goes out to you guys, I'm going to be very relieved that I can finally take a deep breath. <laughs> um, and just any overall final thoughts, like you'd like to say thank you to anybody or? I want to say this show is not just a one act, like one act play. It's not just like a virtual thing for my senior project. It is, it's supposed to um, represent like having accessible theater in a time that you weren't expecting to have theater at all. Mm -hmm. Obviously with COVID-19, um, no one knew what was gonna happen. It's an unprecedented time as you hear everyone say. And being a fully remote student, I feel like I have less than some of the kids that go into the school. And I know that other fully remote students felt that way. I made sure to 
talk to them before I even started this pro uh, this project. And if this gives like the community and other students the chance to watch theater or be a part of it and have like that opportunity going forward to create something similar to this, even if COVID isn't possible, like isn't a, a, a factor. I want to make sure that like this isn't just to get a show out there. It's to like start something new. It's one of the first. It's like a first for Burlington. Um, student run, completely virtual, and it's in a time that no one thought theater was possible. I definitely want to thank Mr. Hill. He's been incredibly amazing with this whole thing. I want to thank my family, obviously. They've been very supportive with my long nights working on this show. Uh, Mr. Middleton, of course, and the whole cast and crew, and BCAT, of course, for helping with getting it out there into the world. Um, and yeah, the, it's just been amazing. <laughs>